Hello, welcome back to Funtime Crafts 24-7. This is a let's make video. And what we get to play with is, oh my heavens, it is so stinking cute. It is Stephanie Bernard, Stamps of Life's um, new craft kit that she has out. Um, this, she released this, gosh, a couple of weeks ago, but unfortunately, fortunately for her, unfortunately for anybody that's wanting to purchase it, it's actually sold out. Um, it, most, most of the time her new kits, um, her online classes, they sell out really, really fast. However, she is really cool about, um, the more people that hit the notification button on this class, um, the quicker she gets, uh, to, uh, re-releasing it. Um, a lot of times she'll put a class out, it'd be for a limited amount of time, and then uh, she'll re-release it because of, um, the demand for it. And then, um, I'm pretty sure also too, um, she will also, uh, release these items for a limited amount of time. Um, after a certain period of time, she'll release these independently as well, um, for sale. So like, if you just want the boot, you just want the stamp and die set, or you just want the stencil, I believe how she does it's like six months um, to a year, then you'll be able to pick these up as well. However, she is usually quicker if you if she gets an overwhelming uh, notification about people wanting this class. She'll do another one, another release of it uh, right away. So there is that. So this is the Howdy uh, Western online class. And oh my goodness, it is stinking adorable. I saw it and immediately had 4th of July in mind when I actually saw it and have lots of things I'd love to do with this set. Um, so the set comes with um, this really cute A2 size folded cowboy, bu cowboy boot. It is darling. Um, it's approximately uh, four and a half by five and a half inch size. Um, fits perfectly on an A2 size. Um, she has this design to where it has a layering. Then it has the intricate. And the intricate is designed to where there's a cut line, but it's still attached. So if you wanted to do these pieces separately, you just snip the little points and you can layer these up in different colors uh, if you want to. Um, this boot looks like it cuts out this fun little flourish in the middle. Cuts out the flower. Cuts the little flap for the boot. But then it embosses these lines uh, for that fun western style there. Um, so if you wanted to change the colors up, you can. Really cute, right? How darling is that? So then the stamp set, which is what I used already uh, for my card example... Um, comes with the stamp set and then comes with the dies uh, layering for each of the items except the little wheat grass. The wheat grass you just stamp and then cut out. You'll want to do a window uh, for this one. Cut this out and then line line the window up over the stamp and then put the die on top so you know where you're cutting. Um, do that little trick and uh, that'll work really well for doing that one. But um, really cute. Like these stamps are a good size as well. This one's about two and three quarters by about one and a quarter inches tall, roughly. Uh, the little, the tiny boot is about two and a half by approximately two and a quarter. Super cute. Your cactus is about three and a quarter by probably an inch and a half. Uh, let's see, about an inch and a half wide. The howdy is an awesome size. I love it. It is approximately three quarters inch uh three quarters this way and three inches this way so a super fun uh size of a howdy uh little sentiment and then the stencil which i absolutely love oh my heavens uh tooled leather this is a five by seven stencil it does a really it does a true five by seven background so and fits perfectly uh if you want it to be exact it is fantastic so the other thing that you could buy um that you could buy to go along with this uh, kit was you could get, you could have gotten the um, Howdy Western cardstock pack and which came with the free Yeehaw 
uh, sentiment. Um, it cuts the word out and it has a layering. So super, super fun. Um, but this is sold out as well. Um, let's see. Let's open it and we'll see what the uh, colors are. The cardstock, I believe, that is in this pack is... Um, um, the cardstock in this pack, I believe, is... It should be 80 pound. So I not... Uh, it's not, it's not 80, it's not 80, but it's pretty stiff, um, it's, I don't think it's 80, but it's, it's pretty stiff, the green, the, this green is, and I don't know what the names of the, I think this is cranberry, which is one of my favorite colors, and I was totally out of it, so what do you get, you get three sheets probably of each color, I'm guessing, um, this is definitely 80 or 100. This stuff is thick and nice. And I'm not sure what color that is, but it's a beautiful kind of olivey green. Um, this might be pineapple or lemonade. I don't know. But this one's on the thinner side. Uh, more towards like 65 pound, I'd say. Um, then you got, I think this is ginger snap, I'm pretty sure. Uh, ginger snap is, oh, more towards the 80 to 100. That stuff is thick. That is nice. Not sure what color this is, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, oh, she was coming out with the new color. This might be the new color. Um, and let's see. It's it's a little on the thinner side. It's it's not like closer to 65, I'd say. Um, but this is pretty. It is like a corn blue uh, on the lighter side. Not really cobalt, more corn blue, I would say. A light corn blue. Um, but beautiful, my goodness. Um, I, th I think this one is like her cantaloupe. Um, this, this, this one might be, this one might be a little thicker, more like 80 pound. Um, the cantaloupe, I think that's what that color is. Then of course, you know, she always provides that white, that beautiful snow white color. This is, this isn't like the olive. This is on the thinner side, but more maybe maybe 80 pound not 65 um let's see what these are let's see here um this one's probably closer to 80 and this is navy and this is a beautiful color oh my heavens that's a gorgeous color and then this one yeah this is this this is the stuff this is her twig my absolute favorite brown love love this color and this stuff is stout this is nice like 80 to 100 i'd say closer to 100 like the olive and the ginger snap. Really stinking nice. Although I think the ginger snap, I don't I don't think this is the same color she's had before, but this it's a lovely color and a super nice weight, really nice weight color. Um nice weight cardstock. So um so the variety of weight in the cardstock pack um probably averages sixty-five to a hundred, I would say. Um and the twig ginger snap and olive all being your heavier weight card stocks the other ones between 65 and 80 i would say but closer to 65 i would i would i would guess so yeah but a good variety of colors though so that's pretty nice um yeah so yeah so i figured hey let's um play with this because i have an idea for the I have an idea. Oh, so this is the card. <laughs> Whoops. So I made a five by seven card. Um, I cut it. Uh, the base is cut out of white. Uh, Nina, 80 pound cardstock. Um, the first layer is Anna Griffin matte gold. And it's four and seven eighths by six and seven eighths. Then I cut a pink pearlescent. Um layer out that's four and three quarter by six and three quarter and I use this fabulous uh tooled leather stencil on the top of it and uh did it in some use some enchanted gold gilding polish in it um you get this stuff on scrapbook.com at joann's joann's has a good variety um so does joggles joggles.com has it scrapbook.com simon says stamp I believe sells this type of stuff scrapbook michaels does um, but isn't that just so pretty on there in one way it's white. And then, uh, when you tilt it in the light, it's gold. It's so pretty. I don't know if the camera picks up on the gold, but in the, in the, like when it's tilted like this, it looks more white and like, like the container white, but it actually shimmers in gold. And then, uh, this is Anna Griffin matte gold, but I used a Stephanie's, um, dotted oval dies. 
Um, the center one is larger, and then the two smaller ones. And uh, what I did on the ovals is I ran, I cut the ovals out, and then I embossed the stencil on the top of the oval to uh, coordinate with my background and just give it a fun little look there. I thought that just turned out really fun with that uh, stencil embossed on the background. And then uh, just cut out some, um, this is Anna Griffin pink foil on some Sizzix, uh, no, this is Tonic Studios um, sugar crystal glitter white cardstock. Um, so layered up the foil on the glitter white and um, added a few of Stephanie's uh, pink gems uh, to the um, little hat and the boot. Um, this is some crocheted white ribbon that I got off of Amazon. It was a variety pack. And this is a white stamped the Howdy in candy ink uh, from Stamps of Life. And uh, went around it with a Stardust Jelly Roll pen, added a little gems, hand trimmed it out actually, and then edged it in some Delicata gold ink. And thought that just really made for a beautiful card front. Uh, the inside, I cut the oval out uh, in two different sizes. Like, so this is the largest, and then I went two sizes down to cut the center out. And um, then embossed that... Um, stencil on the top of it to make it look like a frame um edged it the center of it with the stardust jelly roll pen to give it a little like finishing touch and then uh, added that little double layer of the uh, horseshoe in there and thought that came out super cute didn't want to put anything on the inside because i wanted to leave room for a handwritten note and it to be able to be used for anything so um howdy and you could still use it as like a birthday thinking of you sympathy um, maybe not sympathy because it says howdy. Well, you could say howdy sending love and hugs, uh, thinking of you at this time. If you did want to use it for a sympathy or something like that, um, howdy, you could use it for like a new home or, or whatever. Cause it's blank. You can use it for whatever you want. But, um, yeah, I thought that ended up being super fun on the inside as well. But isn't that the cutest thing ever? Like, right? A little country. Woo woo. Um, definitely goes with uh, living in Montana, right? <laughs> so yeah, or Texas or Wyoming <laughs> or any of those states that is cowboy related. <laughs> so um, I thought we would give it a try because I have another idea uh, what I want to do, uh, what I want to use um, this set for. And I was going to use the fold it because this thing is fantastic. And we're going to make another five by seven card with this. But I thought, wouldn't it be a hoot? If we filled the boot with flowers, right? You know how you see in the garden, um, you'll see like it'll be a, or on the front porch, it'll be a pair of boots with uh, like baby's dried baby's breath in it or wheat in it or flowers. They'll have, there'll be a flower arrangement in it. And I thought, well, why don't we put a little flower arrangement in it? And that would be super fun. So what I've done is I got out, now I haven't done anything yet. <laughs> Um, I haven't, I haven't done anything, but I did get out some stamps, um, stamp and die set. So I wanted to use the little bees out of this one. We might end up using, or no, I wasn't going to do that. So I'm not, that's a lie. We're not using that one. We're not using that one. We are using the dies and the stamps. I'm not sure what little bee this one cuts out, but I want to use the little bees. And then we might end up using the... Oh, and I was going to do the thinking of you sentiment out of this one because I was going to do a thinking of you card, right? Isn't that great? I think it just goes really wonderful with the boot, that the uh, font. And then we were going to use, I was going to use this set here, the spring flower, right? Spring flowers, like how whimsical and fun is that set? We're going to just cut out a bunch of fun little card stocks and then the flowers from the potted, the flower pot set here. And use those to cut out an array of flowers and this put them on the stems and thought that would be really, really stinking fun. So, um, but as we were going through the pack of, so I want to do the stencil, but as we were going through this pack of, oh, we could even do, yeah. no, 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 thinking of you. We're going to do thinking of you. So as we were going through this cardstock pack, um, I didn't realize it was cantaloupe. <laughs> I When I glanced at it, I thought it was pink. <laughs> so that kind of just throws me all off. Um, I love the colors, though. And I didn't know that she included the new blue in this. Um, so what I'm thinking is... 
I'm kind of thinking I'm going to go in a different color pattern. So I'm thinking that I want to go, let's go navy card base. Oh, that's not, I don't, it'll be fine. Because we're going to go 5 by 7 portrait style instead of landscape. So let's use this for card base. Okay, let's just do it. Card base. We're going to use a white one to stencil on. We're going to, I think the corn, this new like corn blue color. I think I'd like to do that. We're going to layer on that. And then we'll come back with. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Oh, but look how beautiful that is. Okay, hold on a minute. Back the truck up. Okay, hold on. I think let's do this in a card base. Let's do this twig. I'm pretty sure that's twig. I love that color. Okay, you guys, I, I love it. I, I can't help it. Um, I just love it. But what if we put it in here? <gasps> okay, okay, wait, wait. Okay, reverse. Go back to navy blue. Boom. Layer a cardstock. Um, we'll pop that corn blue on there. Let's emboss this one with the stencil and highlight it with some twig. We'll emboss this one. Then what we'll do is we'll see about, um, another layer. We'll do another layer and we'll just highlight this one with some brown. We'll distress it with some, with some ink, twig ink. And do a little stenciling on top of this one in the brown. In the brown. In the brown. In the brown. Or go this way. In the brown. Let's see where we end up with the stencil. But the stencil, what do we want to layer this stencil in? Um, well, let me do the card base first. Let me get the card base cut out. Let me emboss this layer with the stencil. I'm going to go I'm going to go 4 and 3 quarter by 6 and 3 quarter on this layer and let me get that embossed and on here. And then we'll see what we want to do after that. Because that's right. I have a uh, let's see. We have the boot and it's a good thing that it's not a 5 by 7 boot. It's it's a a two size 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half. Where's my boot? Do you guys see my boot? Oh, I lost the boot. I'm going to get the boot. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, let me do that and let me find the boot. Hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> oh my heavens, so I found the boot. I got my card base cut out. So this is a 10 by 7 on the 10 side scored at 5 folded, creased or burnished the edge to get my card base. Um, and then I was like... I cut this out to four and three quarter by six and three quarters, getting ready to pop it through my um, uh, Empress machine. And I thought, well, you guys probably want to know how to do that, huh? <laughs> how to even boss the stencil? <laughs> so basically, you get your A plate. Um, I use my metal shim, but this is really thick cardstock. So I'm going to take the metal shim out. Ooh, out. I'm going to take it out. Um, so I just have a rubber mat. And then I put the cardstock down. And then what we're going to do is, all we're going to do is pop the stencil right on top. Um, we're going to pop this right on top. Like that. Hang on one second. Okay, sorry about that. So yes, yeah, so so A plate, embossing mat, this little brown rubbery one. Um, your cardstock and then your stencil over the top of it. Um, and then your top plate, and then you're just going to run that through. But if you have, if you have, um, whether you're using the Sizzix or the Spellbinders, if you use um, your, let's see, you would use, because this still has, this has, still has the two plates, but I don't have the magnetic shim. No, I'd have to figure that out. It's a lie. I'm not even going to tell you. I don't know. I'd have to... I'll have to mess with it. I think, actually, you would just take out one of the cutting plates and replace... You, I, I believe... You'll have to test it out. I believe if you just replace the bottom cutting plate with the rubber embossing mat, put your cardstock down, put your... Um, put your 
stencil on the top of it in your top plate and run it through with the base plate. Um, I think that will get you the same result as this. But let me do this and I'll be right back. All right, let's see what that looks like. Oh, did it even do it? Wait. Oh, it did it a little. Hold on. Okay, I wasn't sure if I was going to need this shim. You might need to add a couple extra pieces of cardstock to yours um, just to get it a bit thicker. But I'm going to run this back through. Hold on. Okay, because you have to add maybe some shims for more pressure is why. I was wondering about that. Oh, yeah, look at that. And it when it goes through, it like shifts. Like it squishes the mat out like dough. <laughs> oh, but look how pretty, right? Isn't that a fun technique? I love it. And so now we're going to highlight that funness with a little bit of tone-on-tone -tone ink blending. So let me grab the scrap paper and... Like, right? Tooled leather. So pretty. Oh, my gosh. You can leave it like that. How beautiful. But let me get some ink and paper. Hold on. Okay, here we go. So we're just going to take uh, the Stamps of Life twig ink. And we're just going to do a little... With the blending brush, you're just going to just ever so gently just highlight... You're just enhancing the embossed detail of um, the cardstock is all... And you don't, you don't need to press just lightly, gently go over all the edges. Because uh, we're actually covering up most of this. You could even put some gilding polish over the top of this if you wanted. Um, might be kind of fun as well. But I'm actually just going to edge this. Um, yeah, actually, I'm just going to edge this. And look at how pretty. Isn't that fun? It's adding an extra little bit of dimensional detail there. Um, so yeah, so let me finish just going around the edges with this and I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. So let's see what that looks like. Oh my, yeah. And then the variation of color makes it look almost like it's worn leather, right? Isn't that fun? So I think I'm just going to attach this right down. Let's just uh, adhere this down with some glue. Uh, hang on. Some glue. And then we'll see, we'll have to get the the um, boot out and see what we end up doing with that. Um, see, because it has two layers as well. Whoops. Yeah, that's pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love those colors together. So pretty. Um, let's see, now um, let's get the boot and see what we want to do there. Uh, yeah, because this is a fun one. Um, I, I opened it and took it off the, um, carrier sheet. You want to be careful, though, that you don't bend that when you're peeling it off. Uh, because it's a little thin there, right, that piece. So, but we have this. So, what was, what were we thinking? What are we thinking? Uh, yeah. Okay. So, we got our boot. Oh. Hmm. Oh, that's that totally goes though, doesn't it? Uh, let's see. So maybe we want to change up. Maybe we want to change up. I wonder what this would look like. Um. Yeah, we were gonna go flowers. So let's see. We gotta go all the way to the bottom. Well, we're gonna have to go to the bottom like this. Um. I wonder if we're gonna have room. We might have room for flowers there. What if we do the layering and navy again? We'll do this. Uh, what if we do this and navy? Not white. No, not white. Could we do it in twig? I don't think the twig. I don't. I don't think this one. Or not twig. I don't think ginger snap. I don't think it pops enough but we could edge it in we could edge it in we could edge it in we could do the ginger snap and then we could do this in twig and we could cut it out in it with the corn blue so let me um let me cut this out let me cut this out in ginger snap let me cut this uh piece 
let me cut a piece that will fit behind all of this in in corn blue and twig. Let me do this in twig and corn blue and let's see what happens. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, so we had a little executive decision, <laughs> um, a little revamp. Uh, so what I did was I cut the layering out in um, gold. Uh, this is uh, Anna Griffin's matte gold. Cut the, I'm going to use the base of the boot, the intricate die, in the ginger snap that was in the kit. Uh, I'm going to edge it, though, however, with some twig, but very lightly. And it's only to enhance the details um, that are already in the boot, but, but very, very, um, very, very lightly. So I just want to go over the edge. Um, and it's just going to enhance and just make it super fun. Um, cause I, I don't want it to be, I don't want it to be too dark. Just lightly go over those details there onto the boot like that. Mm, there because we're also going to do a bit of fussy cutting um i cut this out in um twig as well and we're going to um and uh in twig as well and we're we're going to uh we're going to paper piece with twig too so um i thought that would be really fun so there with a the little flower and then, oh, we do want to go on the inside of those little pieces. Oh, can you guys see? Sorry about that. I'm, I'm just edging it. If, if you didn't see, I'm just lightly going over with just a tiny, tiny bit of ink. Just a, just a little, a little dabble do ya. Um, trying to highlight the edges of these uh, cutouts, the detailed cutouts. But I don't, I don't want to get rid of the fact that this is ginger snap because I want the contrast with the twig, um, uh, like that. So, so we're gonna do that. So there we go. And then I just, um, so then I just cut a piece of that corn blue that was in the paper kit, and um, just enough to fit right behind this. Um, I just, I just want this to fit behind like like that so i'm gonna glue that on like that hmm well i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put the glue oh my little bead on the top of my glue fell off because i dropped it on the ground <laughs> whoops so i think what i'm gonna do is i know i want the detail here i know i need glue there I'm not sure how big that other piece is. Oh, I know I want the flower to be glued in. Um, and then down here is I I know this detail I want, but I don't I don't know where the I don't know how big the I don't know where the paper goes. I don't know where that gets me. Oh, we did it. Oh, that worked terrific. <laughs> oh, look how cute that is. Isn't that darling? Oh, I love it. Okay, so now what we want to do is... Uh, oh, and let's... Before we forget, I want to color... I want to color this with my new gilding. That little spur. So it contrasts from the gold. Is um, it, It's just a different... It's just a different gold. Um, any, any gold pen you have will do this. And this is supposed to be like a metal... Isn't that fun? Oh, look how cute that is. Isn't that great? <laughs> and then we're going to cut this and make that twig. So here, let's just, let's keep going. See, and then it contrasts on, um, it still contrasts gold on top of gold. Um, See how you can see that? It still stands out. Like, fun, right? So let's fussy cut these out. Oh, 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 oh. So we're going to put that, this gets cut out. So we're going to glue that on the top of that one for a little accent detail. But we're also going to cut, see, um, this, these dies, see, there's a, a trim point there and a trim point there. 
I just try to cut with, and actually we want, um, we want to actually cut out, so I'm going to go to there, and we want to cut this piece off actually, we want to cut off this piece as well, because we did that in gold, so then we want to cut this little piece here, see right there, just trim that little piece. And then we also want to trim that piece and then at the top of the boot. And then that'll all be one. And then now we can line this all up on our ginger snap boot. But we also want this piece up here too. So I'm going to go ahead and like that. Trim that little, trim that out and we're done with that. So now we can go ahead and, oh, 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 it's magic. Uh, glue all these pieces down. So let's Oh, huh, I was upside down <laughs> Line these all up. Oh, isn't that cute? Oh, that is adorable Love that well, let's get this little flower on Oh my heavens, yeah, I want to use this for 4th of July this year. I think that will be so stinking cute. Oh man, I didn't, I didn't realize this wasn't, oops, I should have guessed. Oh, there we go, not too bad to line up. Awesome. Um, so now we'll glue all these down. Um, I totally saw this and I want to, I want to put it on a 4th of July banner. Wouldn't that be so cute with some stars and stuff? Um, red, white, and blue. Oh my goodness. That'll be so darling. Um, Ooh, bummer, dude. Now don't drop it on your beautiful card. <laughs> Right? Isn't that darling? Look how cute that is. OMG. Oh, that is an adorable little boot. Right? That is super, super cute. And now we'll layer that right there. Right? So adorable. Okay, so now let me adhere this onto here and I'll be right back. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, right there. <laughs> I couldn't find the pause button. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, so I got that done, and then while I was doing that, I thought, wouldn't it be fun if we had a little element there, and I thought a star would go really good. Um, all the talk about um, <laughs> Fourth of July, right? <laughs> so I thought, hey, let's, so I cut that on in that, like, cornflower blue color and a gold one. Um, these are Stephanie's uh, star, stitch star um, dies. Yeah, stitch star dies. There's a combination of them, but I was going to stencil this on the top. And in midnight blue to go with the background, but just very, very lightly, very lightly. So we're just gonna just just a tiny bit because it's just in the background. We don't we don't need a lot of ink. Okay, let's just hold that still and see what that looks like. Oh, that's looking great. That is looking great. So we're just gonna do that. This is gonna be super fun. Okay. So just a little bit. You don't need a lot. And it doesn't have to be even. You're just trying to add um, just a bit of interest to this and make it fun. So, you know, we're not going for, you know, even coverage or anything like that. We're not in a competition. Um, it's just a right. Awesome. Just something super fun. And uh, so there we go there. And now this can go on here like this this so now we have that little element and we can go like that and now we can add now we can get some we can put that there yeah that there and we can pop some flowers on um i think i'm still gonna do maybe the yeehaw one right there and we can get some flowers as well so yeehaw probably there in the gold 
in the gold and navy blue probably but let's let's cut some flowers out though here let me let me cut some flowers out and i'm just gonna do some um probably what's in here probably what's in here so yellow we'll do some yellow yellow's a fun one yellow Ugh, i don't know if i like that how about some cantaloupe we could throw some cantaloupe in there uh, let me see what we're gonna do with this hang on i'll be right back definitely some green hold on okay so here's what i've done i cut out the couple of stems from this set this set here, the spring flower die set, the stems, uh, and the green that was in the cart or the paper pack. Then the flowers from this flower pot set here, these two, I just cut these out in pink foil and white glitter and then alternated the little bases of them and, uh, just gonna glue them on. And I think I'm gonna do the, uh, put gems in the center of them. So I'm actually going to, um, just line those up and I'm gonna yeah I'm actually just gonna line these up and glue them together and then pop um I was gonna put the centers back but I think I'm gonna leave those out and then just put a gem in the center of each of these so and then we're gonna do the boot like this um yeah I thought this is just coming out did I say I can't even remember oh yeah we did we we stenciled this together so I just glued this together so this is going to be like this. And then hopefully, hopefully these little uh, pieces, because they only need to be like, they only need to be that long. I think what I can do is I can take, I can cut that one off and I can do like this. Oh, uh, let's see where are we at. We're here on our card. I can do like that. So this is kind of what I'm thinking, guys. Right? We can do that. Oh, or we could do the white one, which will pop a little bit better. Maybe like this. Then we can maybe do something up like that. With, oh, where's that baby stem? With that stem we cut off is what I was thinking. Like, we could do like that. See? And then it still has that stem. Put some gems in those. Oh, yeah. And then I guess we don't really need... No, we need one more up there, I think. What if we do a different... Um, actually, what if we do a different style? What if we do this one like this? This one here like that and then we do then then we can do then we can do like this or maybe we don't need that well we still need the stem there but we could cut this off like this and we can add these like this. Oh yeah, like that. We could do something like that-ish. And then what I was thinking was is I could stamp the howdy out. We could stamp the howdy out. And we could do... And then that cuts out the interior of the leaves. So we could do a little something with the leaves like so. Like that. And, like, this one down here, something like that-ish, ish, 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 like so, and then put the word howdy right there. I'm thinking that is going to be pretty fun, ish, ish. So, let me get these flowers glued together, the stems glued on, and figure out where this stuff's actually going to live, and then start gluing it down. Hang on. Okay, so here we go. I got these gluing together. Another executive decision. <laughs> I changed this up. I did the word yeehaw because I thought, hey, let's figure out what that looks like. And look how cute. So did it in the navy and the yeehaw part. The word in that um, 
beautiful like corn blue color and we're gonna pop that right there but first i want to like get some of these elements down on the design oh these are still gluing together though so i need to actually let's swap these <laughs> make it easy on ourselves okay so i want to get some of these elements nailed down where they're gonna go and i think this one's gonna go there but glued down this one i'm pretty sure is gonna go about here though and popped up so let me glue this one down and i i think this everything else is i think gonna get popped up i'm pretty sure well where did this go right here let's see uh, about there is that yeah actually there Like this oh yeah yeah let's do like that let's do it like that okay so let's do that like that let's hold this down then let's grab some i'd like to get some dimensionals on this um dimensionals on this one let's let's just do let, let me think about this um let's do regular size on that one and I'm not worried about this going in uh, the mail as uh, far as it being flat. It, it, I could just glue it all down and it would be perfectly fine. But I get a kick out of the dimensionals. I am going to leave space at the top though uh, for being able to put those uh, flowers. Um, to pop those flowers in though. Um, I'm just using some Anna Griffin um, dimensionals that I have in my stash. And so let's, um, actually, let me pull the backers off this. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got the backers peeled off that one. And so let's figure out where this is going to live. I think, I think we're going to just center this one up. Now, I'm not pushing this down. I'm just gently placing it on the card, kind of ad-libbing where I think I'm going to want it to ultimately live. And let's see, I want to put this here. So maybe I do want this back just a tad and up a little bit. Like that and here. Okay, so maybe we'll go there and there. And now let's see what we have for our little uh, flower pieces here. So... These two were the two we were going to do, and I'm going to go ahead and pop a little stem, uh, this little stem, on the bottom. And I'm not going to worry about it having support. It's it's literally just the decorative element uh, to make the flower look a little more realistic. Um, same with, let's see, this one, let's see, this, these, these I'm going to put on the flowers I put around the bottom. So, let's see. The same with these. I'm going to try to leave these up though. So let's put a little glue on there. We'll go there. And then we'll put, uh, let's see. Oh, shoot. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Wrong one. This one is the, the pink one goes in the center because I have the, the two pink and white ones for the outside. So, whoops, wrong one. That's okay. We can change it. This one goes in the center. Whoops. So let's put that one on the right one. <laughs> and this one, because it's curved a little, uh, is why I didn't want that one on the middle flower. Because <laughs> hopefully it'll go out over the boot a little. And we'll go like this. Like that. There we go. And now, let's see what they look like. Okay, so this one was going to go in. Oh, but we also want dimensionals on these as well. So let's pop a little. You don't need a lot because it's just paper. And if you don't feel like your dimensionals are going to hold, just put a little glue on them. And we'll do like that. 
Let's see, this was the one that was going to go in here. Oh, I should have put this one down a little bit farther. But because it's not done, we can do that. Poor little flower. <laughs> it's like getting... <laughs> Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, so now let's see what this looks like. Oh, uh, we want it down a little like that. Yeah, we'll do like that. And then this one could be about here. Oh, uh, let's see. Like that, I think. The, oh, yeah, that's going to be so cute. Okay, and then this one. Oh, that one's a little tall, too, isn't it? Let's just yank it, pinch the front, the top off, and shorten it up just a tad. Yeah, whoops. Well, I guess it didn't matter on the other one, did it? Okay, so let's... Let's go ahead and do like this. Oh, what do we think about that? That's pretty cute, right? I think we'll go this way. Yeah. Like that. Right? Isn't that the cutest? Okay. So now, okay, so we should put a, uh, a, um, on this one, let's put a, a, a Heartfelt Creations, a dimensional. These are just pull tab dimensionals in all reality, because I don't know how much longer you're going to be able to get these from them. Um, I love these. They are, like, my favorite. I'm going to put a couple on this, and I'm not going to worry about having glue on this part, because really, you're not going to need it. Uh, these are so strong. I think I'm going to go about there, though, ish. And I did not press down. It's just lightly, lightly on there. Because these, we're going to see about... Oh, yeah, we could do like that. We could do like that. And then we could do... Um, do we want to do there? Or do we want to... I was thinking here, but I was thinking underneath as well. No. Oh. So actually we want this one. I really wanted this one to go down. So like this and this. So we could go like. So let's let's go like this. So maybe like that. Oh I like that. So let's. Okay so let's. Where is, where is this one going to go? That's going to go like that. Okay so. So now let's pick this up, add some glue. You don't need a lot because it is paper. Like so. Kind of finagle this one under there. And maybe about there. Well, make sure your my little word is straight. Okay, like that. I think that looks pretty darn fun. Right? Isn't that cute? And so now we just want to add some little leaves. Um, here and there. And then some gems. So let me pop these little leaves on and grab the gems and I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. Got the little leaves on. Right? Isn't that looking super cute? Oh, I love it. Now I just need to add some gems. So I'm just going to put a little uh, dollop of glue right in the center of all the little flowers. Like that. I have my little crystal katana here. And just going to add a gem right... Oh, right. Come on. Who doesn't love a little bling? Uh -huh.
There we go. Uh, let's see, one more for the top up here. Right? Oh my gosh, how pretty! Yeah, I'm gonna do a big one on all of these. Oh yeah, that's that's super fun. And then let's see here. And then a big one down here. And then oh my heavens, I think that is pretty darling. Uh that that is pretty fun. What do you guys think? Um you can't I mean you could kind of see the star. It it's it's a little bit fun. I probably use should have used a little different foliage, but it's still fun nonetheless with the little flowers there and whatnot. And um I thought this just came out super fun, uh, the front of this. Now we just have to do something for the inside. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a couple of layers. Uh, I think I'll cut a twig layer and a white layer for the inside and probably do a little embossing on the twig like I did this. And then the white one just to, um, yeah, we'll just do the white Yeah, the white and the twig, I'm pretty sure, is what we're going to do for the inside. Like this. And uh, I'll just... Yeah, we'll just do... Oh, actually, we'll do like this. I'll just cut this so I can I can use that. And then we'll do a little white. So let me... Or I could probably actually cut this out with a um, stitched die. And then um, and emboss it. So hold on, let me be right back. Okay, so here we go. This is the finished card. That's what I did for the inside. I wanted to bring that um, corn flower and that uh, the pink and the white in with the green stem um, into the inside so all the colors were inside. Still left it uh, blank so that way um, I could write a nice message and it could be used for whatever. Um, decided that I didn't really want to do the stenciling everything, just wanted to keep it basic. Um, you know, because the outside of the card is really what it's all about. And then <laughs> this was bothering me because this stem didn't have any leaves on it. And I don't know, it just, I, it needed leaves. <laughs> and so I, I snuck a little stem in there and just like tucked it up under that because it was already, you know, this one's already glued down and everything. So, um, but anyways, so that's what the card ended up looking like. And I think it's super fun. Uh, I think it's really fun with the star and the different colors. And I think it looks like a real boot, right? Like, how adorable is that? And then uh, just really, really fun. So there it is there. Let me know uh, what you guys think of the cards down in the comments below. This is the uh, first one that I made. Um, just a little refresher of what that one looks like uh, for some inspiration. And let me know which one is your favorite. Which one, which one do you like the best? And uh, yeah, this is a great set. But um, if you don't have it and you want to get it, just put the notify me bell on that. Stephanie is really good over there at Stamps of Life. Stampsoflife.com is where you pick this stuff up. But this is sold out. Sorry about that, that it's sold out. But if you, know, like I said, notify me. And she's really cool that when she gets inundated with that, she usually opens it up again and gets another uh, collection or gets a whole nother badge of this going. So uh, thanks for hanging out. I hope you guys are doing well. Hope you have a terrific weekend. And until next time, everyone, happy crafting. Bye-bye.